All right, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more Undisputed. So in this one, I'm going to try out Carl Frotch, and we're going to go against George Groves. I think these two fought a couple of times. Like I say, I'm no, in my other videos, I'm no boxing fanatic, but I do remember these lads fighting a couple of times at some point. Going to go on hard, uh, hardest difficulty again, simulation. And this is not so much of a challenge video, but it's just trying to beat the AI, uh, the AI on the hardest difficulty. I haven't managed to do it yet. Um, still tr trying to suss out how to like effectively beat the AI. You know, it's like uh, it's this. This will be my third fight, so I've not really had that much. I've only had two fights against the AI, so it's. I need way more practice and to like to learn the nuances of this game. But I can't wait for it to come out on consoles because. My laptop is just not good enough to run this. Like, it's just uh, it's slow in parts, and I'll get it for the PS5, I think, when it eventually drops on consoles, whenever that is. Uh, I'm just gutted, really, because I imagine modders will will do some good things with this game when, when they get the hands on the full thing. Like, custom shorts and things like that, and you never know, they might even end up changing some, some punch animations that are not so so good, you know what I mean, but I'm, I'm always interested to see what, what modders can do with the game, and I just wish I had a better PC. Look at Carl Frotch there, the Cobra. Not to be confused with Cobra Tate. Oh, he's got some Cleto Reyes gloves on there. I've got, I've got two pairs of Cleto Reyes gloves myself. Right, let's see if we can get a win against the AI. Let's check out the intros, see what the character models are like. In the red corner, introducing from Nottingham, England, a super middleweight champion of the world, Carl the Cobra Frog. Hiding out of the blue corner, a European, British, and Commonwealth super middleweight title holder from London, England, a super middleweight champion of the world, St. George Groves. What a pleasure to be in this unique environment. Never force in this venue yet. Been taken for tonight's match. This is an arena See the lag, the, the sort of the stutter in there. This is my system. It's just not good enough to run it. So as soon as it comes out for consoles, the better, but I think that'll be a long way off yet, unfortunately. I'm a console person myself, I've, I'm a console scrub through and through, but I, I, I switched to a, a decent laptop a couple of months back. But I, at, at heart, I'm a console peasant. Oh, big right straight there from Groves. So I, I'll be uh, definitely picking this up on PS5, I think. Oh! Oh, big left hook. God, the AI is just so good at countering, yet it's like fucking worse than UFC 4. You can really feel the buzz in the air tonight. So much hype here in this arena. You can walk into the See, arena my left hook should have landed there, but it didn't for some reason. Some of the punches are way fucking, are fucking skewed in this game. Like the uppercuts barely land. Oh, it rocks me with a... I think it was a shot to the body. Yes, yeah, so some of the hit detection is like is a bit it's goofy, you know what I mean? It's like Got him with an uppercut to the body there. Oh nice counter right straight. And another uppercut to the body. Oh big right hook over the top from Groves. Oh, nice liver shot there. See that? That was a quick uppercut from the AI there. Like, maybe I'm just... Maybe it's got to be the right range to do it. I don't know. Oh, liver shot landed. Big right off. Oh. 
which fighter is winning this bout. So important, the referee's got to do his fight right. Well, I didn't get dropped or rocked, so that's a good sign. Oh, hard right straight to the body there. Good one. Oh, look at those spamming right hands there. He misses with that jab. Oh, nice shots there, one, two. Hey, those punches add up. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. How you deal with a slugger? You've got to use brain over ball. Go in the match, though. Pop, jab, move. Get them angry. Nice exchanges from both men. Oh, big left way. up there. Digging in with that body shot and the left hook landed up top. Oh, nice counter there. Good one. And another nice counter from the AI. Well, oh, that's really good at countering you. Cards are going to be all over the place in this one. Just trying to get some decent blocks in and then counter off the block, but it's difficult. So the, in every one of these fights so far, the AI has just got way more damage off on me with the strikes. I know it's my blocking's not the best, but it's just constantly throwing power shots. See, it, it's, that's why stamina. I say it, stamina doesn't really matter all that much because it's just constantly throwing hard shots, and it's like it's still throwing them at the end of the fight when it's got fuck all stamina. because they've got the speed and they've got the power. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you're in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing... See, what the fuck happened there? It's like a slip and then the punches just went nowhere. I would just say marvellous, but some fighters were unbelievable. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. with that jam. Missed him with that uppercut. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Oh, nice little left uppercut got in there. Hey, I just go nuts again. Look at that stamina bar it's down to halfway already, and we're getting beat again. Energy and endurance. of hard body shots. Oh. to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a terror. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them. They set their shots, 
Oh, nice two punch combination there, right up, cut, left up. Oh, and I slipped and everything there, and he just still, he still counted me. Oh, hard little shot landed there. Just trying to smother him and get those uh, those body shots in off his off some block counters. Dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they went out of speed. So you don't know what happened to that left uppercut. I think there's like, there's times and places to throw the certain punches and I think that's why they're not, I don't know, why they don't want to connect it. It's, it's like the game saying, no, you shouldn't be throwing that punch at that range, or, I mean, I'm right next to him, when else you throw an uppercut? Or after a certain punch, I don't know. I'm trying to do, like, same side counters as well, so, like, whatever side he lands on, roll back to that side. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you, they want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Nice exchanges from both men. Another big right up counter. That one, and you can see he does not like being grabbed onto. Whispering sweet nothings into each other's ears. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to make any like fight night comparisons. Oh, beautiful right uppercut there! Like if this was fight night and you were fighting someone with as little stamina as he's got now, like the fight's over. Like it's, there's no way he can win. But he's still probably going to rock me in a minute. I'll be very surprised if I don't get rocked. Oh, nice counter uppercut there. Which one of these athletes is going to say I can't take it anymore? Oh, hard right straight to the body. Hey, those punches add up. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This 
Spider's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you just gotta be thinking. You just gotta be smarter than them. You gotta be like a little vague in a pickpocket. Oh. Getting countered to Galore. Hey, AI's just countered on the shit out of me. And he fails to score with that left hook. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. It's the AI. The AI is beating me. It's landing all the power shots. See? Oh, we actually won a round back. Another combination to the body and the head. Fantastic punch. Oh, and an uppercut gets through. You can see he does not like being grabbed onto. I think this like saps his stamina a little bit. Being in the clinch like that. Oh, and a big shot over the top. See what I'm saying? Like I know. He's got fuck all stamina and he's like... No, we don't see a knockdown. He's still getting power shots in on me. Like, his, his body posture hasn't even changed. Like, and that was a thing with fight night. Like, when you were fatigued, your, your boxer looked fatigued. Like, he looks exactly the same as when the fight started. Look at him. Like, there's no change in the animation. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Like, his punches are not coming out slower. Landed. There's no way this fighter can go punch. That was a slow punch. He just he changed just a bit there, but that's because he same. he depleted the stamina and he was trying to throw. Oh, that's a nice uppercut there from Grove. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, he got to me in that round. I feel, I feel like I should have fucking dropped him ages ago. Look at this. this. This is like the same situation in all my fights. Like, AI's got fuck all stamina and I've got no health. And there's the bell for round eight. No rest for the weary. Just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. This fighter has determined that they can... Oh, big left hook over the top there. ...that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the dangerous part. Oh, it counted me again. AI hey, is just fucking insane with its counters. Oh, left uppercut got through. Oh, and a right uppercut left up. Oh, we finally drop him. That right uppercut got through. First time an uppercut's actually done anything. I feel like the, like you can only throw the strike and it's only going to land effectively in certain situations. You know, I feel like that's the case so far. Like other times it gets in nice and quick. And then other times it's slow. Oh, nice counters from Groves. That's another scoring shot.
As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. What he's, I've just spoken that a knockdown, you dickhead. Fuck it, all these commentators are like they're not even it's not even lining up to what, what's going on in the fight. You, Johnny, but I'm getting a little bit sleepy. You just like they've just watched a knockdown. Like fucking get rid of the commentary in this game, it's fucking dog shit. It's no Joe Tessator and Teddy Atlas, I'll tell you that. puncher is there's a significant power difference how would you handle that power that power might be the do or die that power might be the, the, the equalizer what a punch I do like fighting on the inside that's like the inside fighting Works quite well. I would say this game is just mediocre. I don't. I don't think it deserves all the hype that it's getting at all. And I know it's just early days of early access, and there's chance to improve. But like, I, I think it's just a mediocre game. You know what I mean? It, it's not amazing by any stretch. People are talking about it. It's like fucking the wheel reinvented. Heard the phrase, finding a oh, big win. left hook there. Like, it feels like I'm playing a game from, like, 15 years ago. Or a mobile game. It feels like a fucking shitty mobile game. I'm, I'm enjoying it in parts, like, but I, I fucking hate it in other parts as well. That one lands. Oh, big shots to the body there. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. The fucking beat up in that round, I feel. Could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? How the fucking hell he's still going with no fucking stamina? I don't know. Oh, and he just he just fucking lands a left hook when he's fucking got no stamina. What the fuck? This makes no sense at all. He's got fucking no stamina. I'm fucking laying into his body any chance I get. Like, I don't understand. Oh, and he just throws another one and I go down. One body shot that he put me down off getting up. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. And he misses with the left uppercut. What the fuck is going on with this game? It's like fucking jerking around. What's going on? Another scoring shot. The final ten seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Fucking hell. Well, that seemed to be like a feel out round. What do you think, Johnny? Just a little fight finder, that's all it was. I don't think he can actually lose any more stamina. I think that's like the base pool that he's got there. It just doesn't seem to be going down any more than that. Not that it'd fucking matter. He just keep throwing his punches whether he's got none or not. He carries away that left hook. 
Oh, and a right hook over the top. I think there's just something I'm probably just not understanding about how things work in this game. In the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. It's the one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it. And you've got to... Oh, and I get him with a right straight left off. Oh, big left off. And he knocks him over the top rope. And he's up. I don't believe what we're seeing here. Oh, I feel slow. Oh, a big uppercut. St. George is down. Crumpled him in the corner. That's got to be it. No, the AI just gets up like it's not a... Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. Oh, big left up again. Oh, and he got saved by the bell there. Fucking hell. What would you tell this guy, Johnny? He's got to do something different. Not seeing any cuts. Is anyone bleeding yet? I, I, you think someone would be? This is some of the best action I've seen in any round, anywhere this year. I feel like he's going to catch me yet. Finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Lucky that hook didn't score. Oh, and he lands on me. Both through right straight at the same time. Oh, and he knocks me gum shield out. Fucking hell. Oh, it's not getting up off this. Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hey, yeah, it's just brutal. We still can't get a win against the AI to be continued. Felt like we were going to get it there towards the end with those like knockdowns back to back, but wasn't to be. And look, we came back on one of the judges' scorecards there. We were actually getting beat like early on, and we started to creep ahead in those later rounds. All right, I'm going to leave it there. One day we'll get you AI, one day. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.